So now let's look at a visualization of modulation and demodulation. So previously, we just derived what would happen if we wanted to modulate our message, look at it in the frequency domain. And then we looked at the math behind demodulating the message, where we were able to get our original message separated out from the most modulation components which occur at those higher frequencies. <clears throat> now, we have our original message, which contains some bandwidth from minus b to b, and we'll just say it has a height of 1. Now, if we modulate that message, so our original message has been modulated by a cosine wave with a carrier frequency, and that shifts our message out to plus or minus fc, and again, it's containing that same bandwidth. However, it's just been moved down to one half. Now, what about when we then modulate that modulated message? So this is that we had our modulated message. We modulate it again. We multiply it by another cosine wave. And when we do that, we just lurk through the math, and we saw that this is going to result in this one half of the original message. So we have our original message here. It's contained in that original bandwidth, that original baseband. It's been reduced to one half of the original amplitude. And then we have these other components, these at one quarter of the original amplitude, all the way out here. And because we multiplied by that second cosine wave, they've been moved not just from FC, but all the way out to 2FC, and that's what we use those, those trig identities to see. <clears throat> so this is the original message. This is the message that we're trying to demodulate. So let's see how we can get this original message. So how can we recover this original message now that we've multiplied by the second cosine wave? Well, if we take a low-pass filter and put our modulated message through it, our, 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 our message that's been modulated twice, and put it through a low-pass filter, we're going to remove all of these plus and minus 2FC components. So in the de demodulation process, we first multiplied by that cosine wave. That forced these other components way out to these plus and minus 2FC frequency bands. And then if we add our receiver, as part of the demodulation process, apply a low-pass filter, we should be able to then recover our original message. So if we take our original message, put it through this filter, we'll get our original message back. And the only harm done is that we've gone from having 1 as the amplitude to 1 half as the result of multiplying it by those two different cosine waves. So our original message has now been recovered at the receiver. And we did that by multiplying by a cosine wave at the receiver. So we multiplied by a cosine wave. And note, this is the same wave frequency as the original modulating wave. And then we applied a low pass filter. And we were able to get our original message back in our original bandwidth with the only harm being done being that one half that it's uh, being multiplied by. <clears throat>